Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time joining us, my name is NK and if you are a returning Alpha team member, thank you for coming back. Thank you for the views. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for subscribing. Please, if you're still watching my video and you have not subscribed, please subscribe. Let's get me to 100 subscribers this month. Please. So today I'm going to be doing a get to know me tag. This is the first video I should have done when coming back to YouTube but I think I wasn't very okay with speaking in front of the camera and right now it's much better so we're gonna do it now. Let's start. My name is Sikag Abasipolika Umon. So if you that have known me for a long time think my name is polycap my name is not polycap polycap is my middle name my name is Sikak sikalabasi sikalabasi means what is hard for god to do it's an ibibio name i am from Ibom state it cannot to be precise I grew up in Uyo in Akwabu State, schooled there, did most of my life there and I just moved to Lagos for NYRC and I am here now. I would say my best characteristics has to be me always pushing, always trying to put my best foot forward, not easily discouraged. Like, if I want to do it, I'm going to always find a way to do it. Well, this one has to do with my dad. And I don't know if my dad knows that I drink alcohol. So I've never told him. I've never drank alcohol at home. I hope he doesn't get to see this video. I think my biggest fear used to be me growing old like i would sit down and cry when i think of think of the fact that i am going to grow old and i'm going to die but now my biggest fear is being broke so i try my best to try all i can to make this money because ain't nobody wanna be broke no A couple of things in the past which I am not proud of you know sometimes they hit me and you know we actually have to deal with it but I think my biggest regret it was much of a regret that year led me to where I am today and maybe if that did not happen I wouldn't have been here I don't know where I would be I don't know what my story would be like but then I actually had to deal with this thing for a whole year. I think I think I'm going to do a story time on it because it's tea to a lot of people and everybody would want to know what actually really happened that year. But then it actually led me to where I am today. And <laughs> I am thankful. Although like it had me crying and crying and not at a point I almost lost faith in God because all i wanted was help i was i was like god help me but it looked like god was like nah i'm not gonna do that but these days i get to realize that god actually held me back because he wanted me to be in line with what is happening in my life today and maybe if i had pushed forward maybe i wouldn't have been in lagos maybe my life wouldn't even be what it is today i'm going to do a story time on it but my biggest regret is not even a regret anymore because we love it here so i think my fear inspires me 
You know, I don't want to be broke. Nobody wants to be broke. So I try my best to have this money. <clears throat> I try my best. I try to have multiple streams of income. I try to put my best foot forward because this money has to be made. Nobody wants to be broke. And then hardworking women really, really inspire me. You know, when you see women who put in their best and come out with great results, it is really, really inspiring. So females, hardworking females, and the fear to not be broke inspires me. I really not like talking about my age. It's not like I'm too old. I'm still a child. But then I am in my mid twenties, you know, not in my late twenties, not in my early twenties, in my mid twenties, that age where you feel that when you hit, you're going to achieve, you must have achieved a lot of things. I am going to hit that age very soon and it's really scary. So God with us, can you guess my age? Can you write it in the comments? section let me know well my favorite drink is water and Hollandia water is very very essential to my body to everybody's body water wasn't my favorite drink until I started experiencing some health problems and I realized it was because I was not hydrated like I was not always drinking water then so I decided that okay we're going to love ourselves so much and we are going to drink water so since then i pick water over coke over pepsi over fanta and all of that and then if i'm not drinking water i'm drinking hollandia yogurt or some other nice yogurt pasta pasta is my favorite food so food is here and we're going to eat and talk to y'all. Oh my god. It's going to be a long day, so let's eat. One for you. One for me. This indomie and egg. Made by my special chest. Well, you know, a lot of people would want to do that. Um, Abraham Lincoln quotes and all of that. My favorite pot is quite simple and I made it for myself. If I don't do it for myself, nobody will do it for me. So that's my own quote and that has kept me running. If I don't do it for myself, who will do it for me? Nobody. So you do it for yourself. Dress. Dresses. Gowns. I wear a lot of dresses because it is easy to just throw it on and you don't even have to stress. But I really like comfortable clothing. I like clothing that gives you space to move and do all of that. So, yeah. Yes, I am scared of heights. I don't jump. I don't do nothing. I am really scared of heights. And I have not done any daring thing before. I'm hoping to try. I am determined to build my empire. I will build my empire and I will help you unleash your potentials. That's how you should be. Build your empire and build mine. We help each other along the way. Nobody is supposed to leave their dream to help another person's dream while their dream suffers setbacks. So you're supposed to focus on yourself, build yourself and also help some other person grow. I'm more of a dog person than a cat person, but I love dogs and cats, but I'm more of a dog person. And I've been thinking of getting a dog, but my fear is what if the dog dies? I'm gonna cry for a year. If I had more courage, I would live my life the way I want to. I would wear 
whatever I want to wear and go out, you know. Because I realized I am more creative inside my house. And when I want to step out, I could just throw on a piece of shirt and a trouser and I'm out. So if I had more courage, which I'm still building, I'm going to experiment with clothes and just do what makes me happy. Being around negative people drains my energy. You know, people who find a problem for every solution drains my energy. People who don't say good things about people. Being in the wrong environment drains my energy. So I know we are all going through things in life, but we should decide to focus on the positive side of life. It helps us. So being around envious people, people who talk bad about people, people who don't see the good in anything, really, really drains my energy. So yes, I have. I have forgiven myself because. I mean, we all make mistakes. I've made a couple of mistakes. And sometimes it comes back to hit me. But what, what do you have to do? You cannot be living in the past now. So I forgive myself a whole lot. And it has really, really helped me in my relationship with others. With that, we have come to the end of our question and answer tag. And a little bit of me eating some noodles for you guys. I like food a lot, so I'm going to do a mukbang one of these days. I'm going to be trying out some food. I don't know if you guys would like that. But then, thank you guys. I really tried to make this video very short. Thank you guys for watching. Please, if you have not subscribed, subscribe. Let's get me to 100 subscribers this month. I love you guys. Please give this video a thumbs up. Share it. Comment. Show me some love. I really, really appreciate you guys. Thank you, and I'm going to see you guys in my next video.